The last two bands are quite complicated and not very common in our treatment sequence and are designed to do a asymmetry correction. Asymmetry, the asymmetry can be vertical or horizontal and we will demonstrate for you these two options of vertical and horizontal by recommendation usually if you need to, do, to correct a true asymmetry to go for 3D uh, bracket which are placed perfectly in a laboratory or with the CAD CAM skills also preferably with computerized robot made wires but when you need small corrections we will see now how to do a vertical asymmetry uh, bent wire. The vertical asymmetry bent is done by taking first of all uh, a nice passive mushroom arch wire with or without the molar band and then after we design it you decide where the asymmetry is located and then you can hold the wire and you decide which side is asymmetrical and where you want to apply the force. So in this case, for example, I will hold it in the cuspid area and push this side up. So now all the wire is tilted up in this area. I can go now to the other side and tilt it back down. So I will have now a shift in the wire to correct the vertical dimension. And the last band, as I told you, will be a horizontal asymmetry wire, which is uh, very, very easy to do. We take a passive mushroom wire and from the molar, if we want to correct the asymmetry from the molar area, or from more uh, forward if you want to correct asymmetry only in the anterior part, we do a band which actually shifts all the arch to the left or to the right in order to correct a little bit uh, asymmetry that was previously crea created by malocclusion or from previous orthodontic treatment. The same can be done horizontally by taking all the wire and moving it inside. So you can see now that everything is shifted in in order to create a symmetry in the wire. So when you put the wire in, you can see now that we have a horizontal shift. Uh, this is a very, very uh, difficult band to make and in such cases it's better to do it uh, in a laboratory and uh, uh, with wires that are banded by a robot to correct a true asymmetry, but small changes of constriction, expansion, up, down of the occlusal plane can be made easily by bending these wires.